icon, diva, undeniable pop culture force, Christina Aguilera is many things, including occasional daring fashion hero. The early 2000s were a confusing time for fashion, with multiple questionable trends out in force. Low-rise jeans were the best thing to have in your wardrobe, and the thinner the eyebrow, the better. Christina Aguilera decided that less was definitely more when she attended the 2002 MTV Video Music Awards, wearing a carefully placed scarf as a top and a skirt that barely covered her. And the genie in a bottle pop star's entire look was capped off with a generous fake tan. According to MTV, Aguilera wasn't really concerned with how critics might view her fashion choices. Before Aguilera went out in front of the crowd at Radio City, she was more concerned with making jokes with her friend and sending messages on her two-way pager than exchanging pleasantries with Usher, who was standing at arm's length. And her award show look has been referenced many times since. An ensemble like this was a big chance to take, even in the early 2000s, especially considering Aguilera presented an award at the event to none other than her arch nemesis, Eminem. Going to the Grammys is a big deal. It's the Who's Who event of the year. It gathers the biggest names in the industry coming together to celebrate what they all love the most the music. Back in 2004, Aguilera decided to go all out for the post-Grammys party, wearing a very bright and colorful top with stripes, stars, and other miscellaneous patterns. She wore a black crochet skirt, black fishnet tights, plenty of necklaces, and studded heels. And let's not forget the famous 2000s body shimmer, which Aguilera took to an extreme. Her dark tresses were paired with razor-thin eyebrows, while her makeup was all about the color purple. While the party took place at the Avalon Club in Los Angeles and was likely full of other equally jazzed-up stars, 2004 was a relatively quiet year for Aguilera. She only had two songs chart, her cover of Car Wash for the movie Shark Tale and Tilt Ya Head Back, a collaboration with Nelly. She was still very active in the industry at the time and appeared at multiple events. There's that saying, the higher the hair, the closer to God. If that's true, then Aguilera was closer to the pearly gates than any country singer when she attended the Blockbuster Entertainment Awards in 2001. This look had it all, from shredded velvet to numerous pieces of gold jewelry. Aguilera paired her dress with a gold bag to match her accessories and topped it all off with a generous amount of purple eyeshadow and deep mauve lipstick. The hitmaker looked like a 2000s Greek goddess with a disco twist. And it worked. The pink velvet dress moved in tandem with Aguilera's shimmery blonde ringlets to create an unforgettable look. Love it or hate it, there was no one quite as outrageous as Aguilera on the carpet at that event. It was a solid win for the star. Plenty of fashion trends are coming back from the 2000s, but would any of today's music superstars dare to wear something like this on the carpet now? Maybe Aguilera will bring it back. You know, I'm not a passive girl that's gonna sit there and just, you know, <laughs> be okay with certain things. When most of us think back to Aguilera's early 2000s looks, her Chaps era comes to mind faster than anything else. Aguilera debuted this truly historic look in her 2002 Dirty music video, which featured her dancing in an underground boxing ring, wearing a bikini and a pair of Chaps. This wasn't a one-off event, but something that sparked a slew of Chap-based looks. She wore them to multiple shows and paired them with swimsuits on stage, making it part of her fashion makeup. There's no one more aware of the impact the Chaps had on pop culture than Aguilera herself, who paid homage to the black and yellow look by recreating it for the 2021 People's Choice Awards. She put a modern twist on it this time around and allegedly has the original Chaps tucked away safely for a rainy day. She told People, We definitely archived the look and God, I just hope they're still in good condition after all these years, but they're somewhere in the vault, yes. Kylie Jenner also recreated the look in recent years. The beauty mogul dressed up as Aguilera in a red and black chap look from the Dirty video back in 2016 for Halloween. In 2001, the world was gifted with Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge. The musical drama featured Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman as star-crossed lovers and was a huge hit. It also had an incredible soundtrack featuring a cover of Lady Marmalade. The tune was reworked by Aguilera, Pink, Maya, and Lil' Kin and became a huge hit in 2001, hitting number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Not only was the song itself popular, but so was the music video for the track, which saw the four women dress in showgirl-inspired outfits. They stayed true to this aesthetic when they performed it at the 44th Grammys. It's hard to say which outfit was more outrageous, but Aguilera's white tassel shorts and red bow tie combo made for a show-stopping presentation. The group bagged an award that night for Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals. 
Not only was the year 2000 the turn of the century and the millennium, but it was also the year we saw something momentous happen. Aguilera performed with Fred Durst at the MTV Video Music Awards. The unlikely duo performed a strange medley of Aguilera's Come On Over Baby, All I Want Is You, and Limp Bizkit's Livin' It Up. I would actually love to sing that with you. Though it was staged to look like Durst just got up from his audience seat on a whim, it was all strategically planned. Aguilera was still a pop princess who hadn't yet gotten to her dirty era, while Durst was the bad boy of new metal. Aguilera wore a red leather combination that consisted of bedazzled pants and a tiny red halter top, while Durst wore his trademark backward red cap. The fighter singer made sure her eyeshadow was especially glittery that day, and her hair was on point. Her straightened hair had very on-trend red lowlights, which inspired many DIY dye jobs in months to come. According to this Aguilera look from the 2000 VMAs, the answer is yes, all that glitters is definitely gold. Her one-shoulder top and skirt combo consisted of a thigh-high split and a thong string. The gold glitter on black paired with the arm cuff and gold necklace made for a memorable red carpet outfit for Aguilera. Aguilera loved to flash her abs during the 2000s and often made them a centerpiece of her looks. Whether she's posing for photographers or belting out high notes, Aguilera knows how to keep her audience captivated and entertained. As for how she feels about her previous trends coming back, Aguilera told in style, I was big with statement baby tees. I loved them. Oh, and I loved a bandana. I still wear them sometimes. I'm really into these latex ones. I love cargo pants. It's always fun to see things come back and live in a new era. It would be remiss to leave out the OG look from the music video for the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Aguilera, Pink, Maya, and Lil' Kim looked absolutely stunning in the video for Lady Marmalade. But Aguilera's look, which featured puffed-up curly hair and intricate makeup with bold eyeshadow, may have been the most memorable. Aguilera wore a red corset paired with black hot pants and stockings, making it look like she just stepped right out of the actual Moulin Rouge film. Despite having tons of creative moments to look back on in her career, Aguilera said that the Lady Marmalade experience was one of her favorite moments. She told Vogue, "...this was where we stopped apologizing for anything. It was an explosion of everything being at the right place at the right time. I loved these girls and working with them, and even seeing what they're doing now is so beautiful." When you share something like that and you can look back on such an amazing part of pop culture in that way. Aguilera also said that this time helped her to come into her own and make the transition into the artist she would eventually become. She said to Vogue, "...and as a performer, I got to just live my best life in this creative world." Celebrities like to go all out for Halloween. While Aguilera may not be quite as daring as the likes of Heidi Klum when it comes to October 31st, well, I'm the worm. You're the worm. <laughs> We're okay, going hi. fishing. She's never been afraid to get a little risque. In 2005, Aguilera was head over heels in love with her soon-to-be husband, Jordan Bratman. Since spooky season came just before their November 19th nuptials, the couple decided to throw a joint bachelor-bachelorette party during Halloween in Las Vegas. Bratman dressed up as a doctor in blue scrubs and a white coat, while Aguilera wore a very short white nurse's outfit. Dressing up as a nurse for Halloween isn't the most original idea in the book, but Aguilera did her best to make it as sexy as possible, pairing the getup with red lipstick and, of course, every medical professional's favorite accessory, handcuffs. The couple stayed together for five years, welcoming a son together before ultimately divorcing. Christina Aguilera left little to the imagination at the 2003 MTV Europe Awards. For her performance, she went out in a baby pink bra left exposed by what may have been the tiniest yellow shirt in the world tied into a bow. She matched it with a pair of beige chinos and a pink beret. The strange ensemble was only emphasized by Aguilera's crimped black hair and pink eyeshadow. The entire getup was quintessential to Aguilera's style at the time, but her look would change the following year. She returned to her original platinum blonde and took on a more refined pinup style. But when most think of Aguilera's early aughts fashion, they'll always be reminded of deep tans and razor-thin eyebrows.